Mona's Kaddish on page 82. Mona, please rise. Yit gadal vit kadash me rabba, be homa de brachiru tevi amlich malchute, be chaye konuv yome konuv chaye de hol beit Israel, bagalau vizman kariv in ruamen, ye esh me rabba vorach ve olamul meon, yit barach vishta bar vit par vit roman vit nase. Vita dar vita levita lal shemei de kutcha. Leila min kol birchata ve shirata, tok bechata ve nechemata, da miran ve olma ve muamen. Yehesh la mara ba min shemaya, ve chaim aleinu ve al kol Israel ve imru amen. Ose shalom ve imru amav, u yase shalom aleinu ve al kol Israel ve imru amen. Please rise together, page 83 for Psuket of Bimra. Baruch Shema Vehaya HaOlam, Baruch Hu, Baruch Osev HaRashit, Baruch Omer Yosef, Baruch Kozer HaMchayim, Baruch Merachim Al HaAretz, Baruch Merachim Al HaBriot, Baruch Mishalem Zakato Gilea, Baruch Haila Advekaya Hamanetzot, Baruch Vodehu Matzil, Baruch Shemo. Melech Meshubach of War, a day at Shemo Hagado. Baruch Ata Adonai Melech Mehulao Batishvachot. Ki ko Elohe Ha'amim Elilim Vadonai Shamaim Asa. Amen mu Adonai Eloheinu, veishtakavu lehakodsho, ki kadosh Adonai Eloheinu. Adonai Hoshia, hamelech ya'aneinu ve'yom ko'enu. Ba'ani bechazdeka v'tatsi, yageli bibishu ateka, Ashir al Adonai, ki gamal alai. Ki hiyu v'ratzonim lefi, v'hegyon libi lefanecha, Adonai tzirit v'goali. Ode Adonai Nefer Shavadav, Velo Yeshmu Kohachosim Bo. Vehino Am Adonai Eloheinu Aleinu, Uma Asei Adeinu Konena Aleinu, Uma Asei Adeinu Konenehu. Orech yamim hasfiehu, ve'arehu bishuhu ati. Orech yamim hasfiehu, ve'arehu bishuhu ati. Beit Yisrael barchu et Adonai, Beit Ahavon barchu et Adonai, Beit Halevi barchu et Adonai, Yireh Adonai barchu et Adonai, Baruch Adonai Mitzion, Shoken Yerushalayim, Hallelujah.
נותן לחם לכל בשר כי לעולם חסדו, הודו לאל השמיים כי לעולם חסדו. כי חסדך אדוני עלינו כאשר יכנו לך. להגיד כי ישר אדוני צרי ולא עבלת בו. עדותיך נמנו מאוד לביתך נאה וקודש אדוני לאורך ימים. אדוני הושיע, המלך יעננו ויום קוראנו. תהי בת אדוני ידבר פי, תברך כל בשר שם קודשו לעולם ועד, ואנחנו נברך יא, מעתה ועד עולם, הללויה. נמלוך אדוני לעולם, אלוהי עציון, לדור ודור, הללויה. לא עשה כן לכל גוי, ומשפטים בידם, הללויה. הירם קרן לאמור, תהילה לכל חסידיו, לבני ישראל עם קרובו, הללויה. לעשות בהם משפט כתוב, הדר הוא לכל חסידיו, הללויה. כל אנשי מטה הללויה, הללויה, כל אנשי מטה הללויה, הללויה. וברוך שם כבודו לעולם. וימלא כבודו את כל הארץ, אמן ואמן. ומצאת את לבבו נאמן לפניך. כמו אבן במים עזים. ויאמינו באדוני ובמשה עבדו. והיה אדוני למלך על כל הארץ ביום ההוא יהיה אדוני אחד ושמו אחד, נשמת כל חי, תברך את שמך. ארכי נפשי את אדוני וכל קרבי את שם קודשו. האל בתעצומות דוסך, הגדול בזוועות שמך, הגיבור לנצח ואנולה בנורותיך. המלך היושב על כיסא רם ונישא.
Thank you, Sir Dillis. We are on page 105. Please leave the page, Kento Bell. Shocheinan marom vikadoshem mohud vikatov ranenot sadikim barunai la yisharim navatehilan befisharim titalal umli merei tarikim titmara umil shom chasidim titromam vekerev kedoshim titpadash umakalot ribevot. Am Chavet Yisrael Lehodot Lealer Lishaveach Lefaer Leromim Lehader Levarech Lealeul Kales Al Kol Divrei Shirot Vetishmechot David Ben Yishai Avdecha Meshichecha Yishtalach Shimecha Lahad Malkinu Merachot meodaot meata veadolam barochat adonai Heil melech gadol vatishvachot Eil haodaot adon haniflaot Habocher mshirei zimro Melech eil chia ulamim Yitkadal ve yitkadash merabba Bealma divera chidutei Ve'amelich malchutei Bechayichon uv'yamechon uv'chayil gulmeit Yisrael Ba'galohu v'zman karim v'imru ha'mein Yehish me'rabba v'chodach Ve'alla v'lol me'al ma'yo Yitvarach ve'yishtavach V'yitvahar v'chomam y'nasei V'yiradar v'yitale v'yitalal Sh'mnei l'kudisho Berichu leila min kol bergada v'shirata Tush begata v'nechem ata Damiram be'alma v'imru amen Thank <laughs> you. Limot ha-Mashiach, v'yein dom elev ha-Moshienu, l'tchiat ha-Meitim. El adon, al kol ha-Masim baruch, v'mvorach v'fi kol neshama, g'unbo v'tuvo, malei olam da'at, utvo na'so v'bimoto. Amit gahe al chayot ha-Konesh v'nedar v'chavor al ha-Merkava z'chutu m'shor l'ifnei chiso v'chesed v'rachamim d'ifnei t'vodo tovim mehorot shevar ha-Eloheinu yitzaram v'da'at v'min ha-Oskel koach u'gvura Natan bahem liot moshlim v'kerev tevel Meleim zim ofikim noga Noe zimon v'chol ha'olam Semechim v'tzetam v'sasim v'voam Osim v'hem marzon konam V'ere v'chavod Not nihim lishmo so hola verina lezeker malchuto kara lashemesh vahi hisrach or ra'al vahi hitkin zorat halavana shevach not nihim lo kol etzevom marom tiferet o gedula 
seraphim veopanim vechayot hakodesh. Oh, la 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 כל עצב המערב, תפארת או גדולה, צרפים ואופנים, וחיות הקודש לאל אשר שבת מכל המעשים בהם. ועל מאורי אור שעשית יפרוך הסלע, תהיה נצמי לנו ואלמנים. כולם אהובים, כולם ברורים, כולם גיבורים, וכולם עושים באימה וביראה רצון כולם, וכולם פותחים את פיהם בקדושה וטהורה, ושירה ומזימרה, ומברכים, ומשבחים, ומפארים, ומריצים, ומקדישים, וממליכים את שם האל המלכנו. וכולם מגמלים עליהם, כל מלכות שמיים זה מזה, ונותנים רשות זה לזה, להקדיש ליוצרם מנחת רוח, בשפה ברורה ונעימה קדושה, כולם כאחד עונים ואומרים ביראה, קדוש קדוש קדוש, אדוני צמאות מלוא כל הארץ כבודו, ואופנים מחיות הקודש, בראש גדול למתנזים ליום הצרפים, ליום הצמשבחים ויאמרים, ברוך כבוד אדוני ממקומו, ליום ברוך ימות ייתנו למלא ימי מצרים ועד ימי ימי מצרים. אור חדש על ציון תאיר ונזכחו לנו מהרה לאורו, מרוך אתה אדוני, יוצר המאורות. אהבה רבה אל תענו, אדוני אלוהינו, חמלה גדולה ויתרה, חמלת עלינו. אבינו מלכי בעבור אבותינו, שבטחו בך, שבטחו בך, אבינו מלכנו. ותלמדם חוקי חיים, כן תכוננו ותלמדנו, אבינו אב הרחמן, המרחם, רחם עלינו. ותן בלבנו להבין, להבין ולהשכיל, לשמוע, ללמוד וללמד, לשמור ולעשות. ולקיים את כל דברי תלמוד תורתך ואהבה, והאר נגדו. בתורתך, ודבק לבנו במצוותיך, ויחד לבבנו, לאהבה וליראה את שמך, ולא נבוש לעולם אמהר, ולא הגדול והנורא פתחנו, נגילה ונשמחה, נגילה ונשמחה, בישועותיך. ואביינו לשלום בני ארבע כנפות הארץ, ותוליכנו כמה מיוני ארצנו, כי אל פועל ישועות עתה. 
Mulvana Vacharta Mikulam Vilashon, the Keraptan Shimragan on Selamat, Lil Dot Nechal Yacheta, the Yahavo, Baruchata Donai, Abu Kerbiamo Israel, the Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Ve'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha, v'chol levavcha, u'v'chol nafshecha, u'v'chol me'odecha, v'hayu hadvarim ha'ele. Asher anochi mitzavecha hayom alevavecha veshinanta amlevanecha vedibar tabam veshivtecha bevetecha uvechtecha vaderech uvshochlecha uvekumecha uksher tamleot ayadecha. Vehayu le tota fot bene necha, Uchtav tam, Amazuzot vetecha, Uvi sharecha. The man tis keru vasi temet kol mitzvotai vi tem kedoshim lelo echem ani Adonai lelo echem asher hoset yechem meeretz mitzrayim liot lachem lelohim ani Adonai lelo echem. Adonai <laughs> Please rise. Tor Yisrael, Koma Vezrak Yisrael, Hopte Chinu Mecha, Yehuda Vayisrael, Go Aleinu, Adonai Tzvahot Shemo, Kedos Yisrael, Baruch Ata Adonai, Gal Yisrael. Tovim 
Kadesh et simcha v'olam Keshem shemagishim otso v'ishmei marom Kakatuv al yad v'yecha V'kara ze l'ze v'yamar Kadosh, kadosh, kadosh Aronai tzvahot V'loh l'aretz kevodom Az v'kol rash gadol Adir v'chal zak mashvim kol Mit nasim leo matzrafim Leo matzam baruch yomei bru Maruk evon aronai min komo Mim kom mecha malkeinu Malkeinu tofiya Vachim lo chaleinu, ki merakim anachnu no. Mim kom mecha malkeinu, malkeinu tzofiha. Vachim lo chaleinu, ki merakim anachnu no. Matai, matai, timlok. Shimelone Tzion Matai, matai Tzimlok Shimelone Tzion Vekaro ve'ameinu Vekaro ve'ameinu Le'olam ev'ahen Tishkon Vekaro ve'ameinu Vekaro ve'ameinu Le'olam ev'ahen Tishkon Tich gadal v'tich kadash Tich gadal v'tich kadash V'toch Yerushalayim Yerushalayim ircha L'edor v'ador, l'edor v'ador U'l'netzach netzachim L'edor v'ador, l'edor v'ador Ulezach netzachi Vienenu Tirena Malgutecho Kadavar Amur v'shi Al yedei yedei David, al yedei yedei David, Mashiach, Tzidkecha. Al yedei yedei David, al yedei yedei David, Mashiach, Tzidkecha. Im loch Adonai le'olam, Elohai yiktsihon, Ledor vador, Hallelujah. 
May conclude the Amidani of our page, page 120, Sim Shalom. Sim Shalom, Tova Uvraha, Chen Vachesed, Verachamim, Verachamim, Alehu, Vial Kol Israel, Vial Kol Israel. Sim shalom, tova uvracha, fein vachesen verachamim verachamim, aleinu, ve al kol Yisrael, ve al kol Yisrael amecha, barcheinu avinu kol anukechal, ve ore panecha, ki ve or panecha natatalanu, Adonai Eloheinu Sim Shalom Tova Uvracha Fein Vachesen Verachamim Verachamim Aleinu Ve'al Kol Yisrael Ve'al Kol Yisrael Amecha Torat Chayir Ve'al Vat Chesed Utsedaka Verachamim Vichayim v'shalom Sim shalom, tova uvracha Chein v'chesed v'rachamim v'rachamim Aleinu v'al kol Yisrael V'al kol Yisrael amecha V'tov, v'tov, v'yehinecha Levarek Levarech et amcha Yisrael Bechol leit, bechol shah Bishlomech Sim shalom, tova uvracha Chein vachesel verachamim verachamim Aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael 
ועל כל ישראל עמך, ברוך אתה אדוני, המרגן עמו ישראל בשלום. יתקדם מגן השם מרבה, ועל מה אני ורוקן נוצא וים נכבד מלכותי, וחייכון ובימיכון וכן חול בית ישראל, בגלה ובזמן כאן מבאים מרו. ZANG <laughs> הוא יעשה שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל, ואימרו אמן. אין כמוך ואלוהים אדוני, ואין כמעשיך. מלכותך מלכות כל עולמים, וממשלתך בכל דור ודור. אדוני מלך, אדוני מלך, אדוני מלוך, לעולם ומלך. Adonai oz le'amo yitain, Adonai evarech et amu evashalom. Al harachamim etiv amirtzoncha et ziyon. Tivene chomot yerushalayim, Tivene Yerushalayim Yilecha Levad v'tachnu Belechel Rav v'nisa Adon olamim Vayehi v'in soharon Vayomer Moshe Koma Adonai ויפוצו אויביך וינוסו משנאיך מפניך כי מציון תצא תורה כי מציון תצא תורה ולמר אדוני מירושלים ברוך שנתן תורה תורה ברוך שנתן תורה תורה לעמו ישראל וקדושתו ונגשמי דמרי Kadisha <laughs> Kadisha Yakira Anna Emar Tushbechan Yehira
Kahan Eloheinu, Gadol Adoneinu, Kahano Shemo. The Torah reading this week is Parashat Vayera from the book of Bereshit. You find the Torah reading on page 99. It's about the birth of the second father of Judaism, Yitzhak Avinu, and the end of the parasha, what we chant on the two days of Yom Kippur. Uh, one of the rabbis probably will show up later. So we leave it for them. Uh, the Torah readers today are Diane Nitzan and Cheryl Guinness. And the Haftarah will be chant, Maftar and Haftarah, Bat Yona Ish. Page 99, the first Aliyah. Ve'yazor yagen ve'yoshia lechol achosim bo ve'numar amen. Hakol havoto Torah ya'amod. Koshmeke ben Gedaliyahu ha'kohen Baruch shenatan Torah Le'amo Yisrael b'kdushato Ve'atem adveikim b'adonai Eloheichem Chaim kolchem Ayom Baruch et Adonai ha'mevorach Baruch Adonai ha'mevorach le'olam v'ed Baruch Adonai ha'mevorach le'olam v'ed Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'olam Asher b'achar banu mikol amin ונתן לנו את תורתו, ברוך אתה אדוני נותן התורה. פייג' 99. אמן וירא אליו אדוני, ולא נאמן רי רעו, יושב פתח האוהל כחום היום, ויפה עיניו וירא. והנה שלושה אנשים ניצבים עליו וירא. וירוץ לקראתם מפתח האוהל, וישכחו ארצה, ויאמר אדוני, אם נא מצאתי חן בעיניך, אל נא תעבור מעל עבדיך, יוקח נא מעט מים, ורחצו רגליכם, והישענו תחת העץ, וכף עד לחם, וסעדו לבכם, אחר תעבורו. 
Kiakem Avartem al Avde Al Avarchem Vayom Ru Kentase Kashe di Barta Ruchata Donai Eloenu Melachaola Mashumatalanu Torah Temet Vechayolam Nata Betochenu Baruchata Donai Eloen Hazora Second Talmud Page 100, verse 6. Yamod. Ayo benit chak v'yeta l'aliyah shniyah. Baruch Adonai HaMelech. 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 Amen. Vaymar here Avraham, ha ohela el sara, vayomer, mahari, shloshim, kemach solet, lushi vasi ugot, be el habakaras Avraham, vayikach ben bakar, rach vato, vayiten el hanar, vayamaher la sototo, vayikach ema vechalav. Uven havakar asher asa vayiten lifnehem vehu omed alehem tachat ha'etz vayochelu. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'olam asher natan lanu Torah lemet v'chayei olam nata v'tochenu Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu ha'Torah. Amen. Yamod. Yosef ben Aaron Shlishi, half of page one of third Talmud. Baruch Hu Adonai Hamavorach. Baruch Adonai Hamavorach. Baruch Adonai Hamavorach. Olam Bored. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam. Asher Baruch Abanu Mikol Ha'amin Venotan Lanu Et Torato. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Torah. Amen. Vayom Ruelav Ayev Sarah Ishtecha Vayomer Hine Vahel. Vayomer shov, ashuv elecha kaev chaya, vehine ven lesara ishtecha, vesara shomat, petach ha'ohel vehuach ha'rav, ve'avraham vesara zkenim, vayim bayamim, hadaliot lesara, orach kanashim. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech olam asher natan lanu Torah temet v'chayei olam nata v'tochenu Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu Torah Amen Yamod achazar ma'olami amulal zu ben baruch l'aliyah revi'it the world renowned cantor Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech olam Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech olam Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech olam אשר בו חרבונו מכל העמים, ונוסן לו נוסטר סוי, ברוך אתו אדינוי, נויסי נטרו. אמן. ותצחק שרה בקרבה לאמר, אחרב לא תהי, הייתה לי עדנה, ואדוני זקן, ויאמר אדוני אל אברהם, למה זה? צחקה שרה לאמר. האח אמנם אלד ואני זקנתי, היפלא מי אדוני דבר למועד. אשוב אליך, כעת חיה ושרה בן. ברוך אתו אדינוי, אלוהינו מלך ואלוהו, אשר נושא נלון ותוירס אמס, וחיי אוילון נטע בשכילות. ברוך אתו אדינוי, נוסיין התו ירוב. יעמוד. מרדכי בן יוסף. מרדכי בן יוסף לעלייה חמישית. ברוך הוא את אדוני המבורך. ברוך אדוני המבורך לעולם ועד. ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהיך מלך העולם, אשר ברכת בנו מכל העמים, ונתן לנו את תורתו. ברוך אתה אדוני, נותן התורה. אמן, ותככש שרה לאמור, לא צחקתי כי יראה, ויאמר לא כי צחקת. ויקומו משם האנשים, 
Vayashkifu apnei Sidom, Ve'avraham, Olechimam l'shacham, Adonai Amar, Hamachase ani me'avraham, Asher ani ose. Thank you, Baruch. Baruch Atah Adonai, Elohim Melech HaOlam, Asher Natan Lona Torah Emet, Bechar Olam Natan Botochenu, Baruch Atah Adonai, Noten HaTorah. Amen. Yamod. Tov ben Abraham l'aliyah shishiit. Baruch Adonai Uvrach. Thank <laughs> you. אבי אדוני על אברהם, את אשר דיבר עליו, ויאמר אדוני זכת, סדום ואמורה כי הוא הבא, וחטאתם כי כבדה מאוד. ברוך אתה אדוני, אלוהינו מלך העולם, אשר נתן לנו תורתו, תורת אמת, וחיי העולם נטע בתוכנו, ברוך אתה אדוני נותן התורה. אמן. יבן תליה. One of two, verse twenty-one. Yamod. Did I know? Asher ben Shlomo l'aliyah shviit. Baruch. Baruch hu et Adonai ha'murach. Baruch Adonai ha'murach le'olam ba'ed. Baruch Adonai ha'murach le'olam ba'ed. Baruch ata Adonai. אלוהינו מלך העולם אשר בו הרבון ומכל העמים ונתן לנו את תורתו ברוך אתה אדוני נותן התורה. אמן ארדן ורעה הקץ לקטע הבאה אלי עשו כלה ואם לא אדעה היפנו משם האנשים ויוקו סדומה ואברהם ואי עודנו עומד לפני אדוני, ויגש אברהם ויאמר, אהבתי שפה צדיקים רשע, אולי יש חמישים צדיקים בתוך העיר, אהבתי שפה ולא תיסע למקום למען חמישים הצדיקים אשר בקרבה. ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם אשר נתן לנו תורת אמת וחיי עולם נטע בתוכנו ברוך אתה אדוני נותן התורה. אמן. יתגדל ויתגדל שמי רבה ועולמא דברה חירותי ואמליך מלכותי בחייך ובימיך ובחיי דכל בית ישראל בעגלה, בעגלה, ובזמן כך, וימרו יש מרבה מבורך, לעולם ולעול מעולמיה, יתברר וישתבח, ויתפאר ויתרומם ויתנשא. ויתהדר, ויתעלה, ויתעלל, שמי דקודשה, לילה מן כל ברכתה, ושירתה, תושבחתה ונכד, דאמירן בעולמה, ואמרו אמן. יונה, 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 יונה,
Maftir Chazak. The Maftir, you find the conclusion of Parashat Vayera, page 121, bottom of the page, verse 20. Second selection of the book of Kings, chapter 4 is the long Aftara, which basically the end of Aftara you will find, and I, I will ask, you know, Mechila, you know, from the doctors, because here we have mouth to mouth resuscitation. It's not a new stuff. So if you look, you know, from page 125, from verse 17, you know, no, I'm sorry, later on, um, I'm sorry, page 126, the bottom of the page from verse 31 till the end, you will find mass of mass resuscitation is formed from the days of the Bible. Uh, Yonah will send the Aftara for us. Whatever you want. Page 124. Page 124, the Aftara. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Bachar Benevim Tovim Beratza Bidivrehem Hanemarim Biemet Baruch Ata Adonai Aboche Batorah Moshe Avdo Ubisrael Amo Ubinvei Hamed Vatzedek Vaisha Achat Mineshei Bnei Anevim Sakal Elisha Lemor, Abdecha Ishi, Med Viata Yadata, Ki Abdecha Haya Yareda Donai, Vihano Sebo, Lakaha Techne Yeladai, Lola Badim, Vayomer Ele Alisha Moeselach, Hagidi Lima Yeshlach Babaid Vadomer, אין לשבחתך כה בבית כי אם אסוך שמן ויאמר לכי שלי לך כלי מן החוץ מאת כל שכנייך כלים ריקים אל תמיתי ובאת וסגרת דלת בעדך ובעד בנייך ויצקת על כל הכלים האלה והמלא תשיאי ותלך מאיתי ותזכור הדלת בעדה ובעד בעניה הם מגישים אליה והיא מוצקת ויהי כמלות הכלים ותאמר אל בנה השיגה אלי עוד כלי 
Vayomer eleha ein o keeli vaya amor hasham en vatavo vatagel le isha Elohim vayomer lechi michri et hasham en vishalmi et nisyech veatu banayich tichi banotar vayi ayom vayavor elisha el shunem. Vesam isha gidola, vatach hazek bo, lecha lachem, vayi midei avro, yasur shama lecha lachem, vatomer el isha, hinei na yadati ki, ish Elohim kadoshu, over aleinu tamid, nasena aliyat kir ketana, Vinashim lo sham, mita vishuchan vichise umenora viaya, bevo elenu yasur shama, vayi ayom vayavo shama, vayasar et aalia vayishkav shama, vayom eret ke chazina aro, kira le la shunamit hazot, vayikra la vatamo lefanav, vayom elo. Emo no ele, hai ne chadat ele, nu et ko acharada hazot me ele asod lach, hai eshe daber lach el hamelech o el sar hatava, va to mer betoch ami anochi yoshavet, va yomer u me ele asod lach, va yomer gechazi, aval ben en la visha zaken, Vayomer kera la, vayikra la, vatamod bapatach. Vayomer lamoed azek et chaya, at chovek et ben. Vatomer al Adoni ish Elohim al techazev v'shiv chatecha. Vatahar aisha vatele ben. Lamoed azek et chaya, asher diber eleha elisha. Vayigdal hayeled, vayihi ayom, vayitzei el aviv, el akotsrim. Vayomer el aviv, roshi, roshi, vayomer el hanash, ayehu el imo. Vayisa, ayehu, vayibi, ayehu el imo. Vayeshev al birchei ha'ad atziharaim vayamot. Vatal vatashkivehu al mitat isha Elohim vatizkor vado vateze vatikro el isha vado meshirchan ali echan minan yarim veyachat ha'atonot vearutza ad isha Elohim veyashuva vayomer Madua at olechet elav hayom lo chodesh velo shabbat vatomer shalom vatachabosh haton vatomer el nara nehar valech al tazor li lechov ki ima marti lach vatelech vatavo eli shalohim el hara karmel vayi Kirot ish Elohim ota mineged vayomer el gechazi naro hine yashunamit halaz vatorut nalikrata vermoylo hashalom lach hashalom lishech hashalom layelet vatomer shalom vatavo el ish Elohim el ahar vatachazek beraglav Vayigash echazi lehad ba vayomer Ish Elohim harpela ki nasham arala vadonai eli mimeni velo higid li vatomer hashabti ben meit adoni halo amarti lo tashlei oti vayomer lagechazi chagor manecha Vekach mishanti v'yadech avalech ki timtze ish lo tevarchenu veki rechecha ish lo taanenu v'shamta mishanti al pnei hanar v'tomer eim hanar chai Adonai v'chei nafshecha im ezvecha v'yakam v'yelech achareha 
Vigihazi avalena lipneem, by a same at a mission at a pne, a nave, in cold the in kashef, by a shabby grato, by a gay lo, le more, lo, he keeps a nar, by a boily shah, a baita, bine, a nar, made mushkav al mitato, by a vo, by a score, a delet, by a shneem, by a palel el adonai. Vayal, vayishkav ala yeled, vayasem. Piv al piv, enav al enav, echapav al kapav, vayikar alav, vayacham besar hayalet, vayashev, vayelech vabayit. Achad heinav, yachad heinav, vayal, vayigar alav, vayizorer anar ad sheva piamim, Vayivkach anar et enav, vayikra el gechazi, vayomer kera el hashunamit azot, vayikra ea vatavo elav, vayomer sei benech, vatavo vatipol al raga, vatishtach avu atza, vatisad benav, vatetze. ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם, צור כל עמים, צדיק בכל דורות, אל הנאמן אומר ויוסר, המדבר מקיים, שכל דבריו אמת וצדק. נאמן אתה הוא אדוני אלוהינו ונאמנים דבריך, ודבר אחד מדבריך כל הישוב ריקם, כי המלך נאמן רחמן אתה, ברוך אתה אדוני. אל הנאמן מכל דבריו. רחם על ציון כי בית חיינו, וללובה שנפש תושיע במהרה בימינו, ברוך אתה אדוני, משמח ציון בבניה. שמחנו אדוני אלוהינו בידיהו הנביא עבדיך, ובמלכות בית אביב משיחך, במהרה יבוא ויגל ליבנו, על כיסו לא ישב זר ולא נכללו עוד אחרים את כבודו, כי בשם חדשך נשבעת לו שלך ונרו לעולם ועד, ברוך אתה אדוני. מגן דוד, על תורה ועל עבודה ועל נביאים ביום השבת הזה, שנתת לנו אדוני אלוהינו לתושל ומנוחה, לכבוד ולתפארת. על הכל אדוני אלוהינו אנחנו מודים לך ומוחים אותך, יברא שמך בפי כוחי תמיד יעולם ועד, ברוך אתה אדוני מקדש השבת. Please turn to the Blue Sidurim, page 151, to be led by Sam Goldman. Ashrei Responsive Chant. Ashrei Yoshrei Veitecha, O Yehalu Chasera. Ashrei Yom Shikach Alo, Ashrei Yom Shemayim. Tehila Ledavid, Aromim Chelohai HaMelech, Vavarcha Shimcha Ve'olam Ve'olam. Gadol Adonai Yom Hulal Me'od Velig Dulato Ein Cheker Hadar Kavod Hodecha Vadiv Reini Pleotecha Asicha Vedud Norotecha Yomeru Ugdulata Safrena Zecher Rav Tuvcha Yabiyu Vatid Chacha Yiraneinu Hanun Verachum Adonai Erech Hachayim Yachasem Tov Adonai Rakol Verachamav Al Kol Maasav Yoduch Adonai Kol Maasecha Vachasidecha Yevarucha Kevod Malchutcha Yomeru Ugvuravcha Yedaberu Leodi Alib Nei Adam Gvorotah מלכותך מלכות כל עולמים, וממשלתך בכל דור ודור. תומך אדוני לכל הנופלים, ותוקף לכל הכפופים. עיניך אליך יסברו, ואתה נותן להם את עוכרם בעיתו. פותח את ידיך, ומצביע לכל חרפתו. צדיק אדוני בכל דרכיו. וחסיד בכל מעשיו. קרוב אדוני לכל פרה, לכל 
Ratson Yure of Yase, Vayat Shabbat Ham Yishma Vyoshiem, Shomer Adonai et Kolova, Vekolon Shai Yashmi, Tehigat Adonai et Aber P, Viva Rechobasar Shem Kocho Veolam Vaet, Vanach Luneva Rechia, Meata Veadolam, Hallelujah. You're doing good. Keep going. You're doing good. <laughs> to take a moment to remember all of our family and our friends who are ill, who are in the hospital or who are suffering this Shabbat. If there's someone who is close to you who is sick, then please remember them and share this prayer. Mishaberach avoteinu avram yitzchak v'yakov sarah rivcha rachel v'leya v'yivarech v'yarpeh et kol acholim v'hilateinu hakdosha. May you who blessed our ancestors at the sea and in the desert Bless all our ill friends through us, your witnesses. Give us the wisdom to impart to them courage and hope. May they know they have in this holy community men, women, and children who pray for the skill of the physician, who pray for the recovery of body and wholeness of spirit. Teach us to remember your words from the void and the vastness of the darkness. Let there be light, and let us pray together. Amen. The service continues with a prayer for the state of Israel and a prayer for peace throughout the world. We rise together. Page 149. Avinu Sheba Shamayim, Sur Yisrael Vegoalo, Varechem Medinat Yisrael, Reshit Smichat Gulatenu, Hagain Alea Bevrat Chastecha, Ufros Alecha Sukat Shlomecha, Ushlach Orchava Amitkal Roshecha Sarecha Vyoatsecha, Vitaknem Bietsa Tova Milfanecha, Chazeki Tige Migine Eretz Kodshenu Van Hilem Elohenu Yeshua, Viateret Nitzachom Taatrem. May we see the day when war and bloodshed cease, when a great peace will embrace the whole world. The nation will not threaten nation, and mankind will not again know war. For all who live on earth shall realize we have not come into being to hate or to destroy. We have come into being to praise, to labor, and to love. Compassionate God, bless the leaders of all nations with the power of compassion. Fulfill the promise conveyed in scripture. I will bring peace to the land, and you shall lie down, and no one shall terrify you. I will rid the land of vicious beasts, and it shall not be ravaged by Let love and justice flow like a mighty stream. Let peace fill the earth as the waters fill the sea, and let us pray together. Amen. Amen. The service for returning the Sefer Torah, page 153. We'll ask those who have been honored to open the ark and carry the Sefer Torah to come forward. We all join together, page 153. <laughs> Shover Razim, Vaishaber Adonai, 
be seated. Good morning, Shabbat Shalom. I'm sorry you don't have the Chumashim, so I'm going to teach a little bit, but you may want to go get a Chumash. It might be a little more e little easier to do. There is a character in the Talmudic literature, a very vivid and strange character. His name is, his Hebrew name was Elisha ben Abuya. But he's known as the Acher. The word Acher means the outsider, the stranger, the one who's been excluded. Elisha, he lived in the first, first, second century, the second century. Elisha ben Abuya was a brilliant student of the Talmud. He was a student of Rabbi Meir, and he was a student as well of uh, Rabbi Akiba. And he was on his way to become one of the true, true masters of the Talmudic tradition when he had an event, and the event destroyed his faith. And the Talmud describes what happened to Elisha ben Abuya. Elisha ben Abuya was, was, at, um, was visiting a farm, farmstead, and there was a barn, and in the rafters of the barn there was a bird's nest. And the father said to the son, go up to the nest and collect the eggs for me. So the boy climbed up the ladder to get the nest eggs, and he shooed away the mother bird, as the book of Deuteronomy, as the Torah demands, and he took the eggs. And as he was climbing down the ladder, he fell off the ladder and he died. This is a story told in the Talmud. 
And Elisha ben Abuya witnesses this, and he tears his clothes, and he declares, late din, the late dayan. There is no judge, and there is no justice. Because, you see, the boy, in the process of doing this, was fulfilling two biblical commandments. Honor your father and mother, and shilua haken, to send away the mother bird. And the irony is that these two commandments are the only two commandments in the entire Bible where the reward for the commandment is listed right after the commandment. You will honor your father and mother so that. You will shoo away the mother bird so that. And the irony is that the reward for both of these commandments is long life. You honor your father and mother, you shoo away the mother bird so that your days will be long upon the land that the Lord God gives to your ancestors. These two mitzvot should have given this boy a very long life. And in the process of doing these two mitzvot, he falls from the ladder and he dies. How can this be? Elisha's soul cries out. How can this be? It must mean, he says, that there is no judge and there is no justice that the world is random, that the world is simply the random collision of molecules. It's arbitrary, it's accidental, it's chaotic, and there is no justice in the world. And Elisha tears his clothes and he leaves behind the world of Torah and he becomes an apostate, he becomes a, he becomes a philosopher. There isn't one of us who hasn't had a similar moment. Most of us, Thank God I've never seen the death of children. But we've seen moments. Individually, we've seen moments when things happen in the world and we wonder, how can this be? Why does this happen? Sometimes it's things that happen to us and we say, why me, God? And sometimes it happens, we witness it, we, we hear about it and we say, God, how can you let this happen? Every one of us has had a moment like that. What were you thinking, God? Just this last week, you heard this story. A young boy walks into a high school with a backpack, pulls from his backpack a very powerful weapon, kills two children, wounds two other kids, and then tries to kill himself. And you say, dear God, for what? What kind of world is this? And of course, if it were the only one that happened, we would say, what kind of world is this? But this is a weekly occurrence. It's almost every week that in some place, often in schools, a place where young people gather, this kind of catastrophe takes place. And you, you say to yourself, my God, what, what, what is going on? How can this be? And that's individually. Collectively, of course, we as a people have suffered innumerable moments of catastrophe. And in this generation, the greatest of all of them in all of the generations of the people of Israel to realize that a million Jewish children were destroyed by the Nazis, and you say, dear God, where is the justice and where is the judge? This is the fundamental religious question. The Bible, as you know, begins with the words, Breshit bara Elohim et ve'et In the beginning, God creates the heaven and earth. God brings order out of chaos. God brings sense out of senselessness. God brings meaning out of randomness. This is what religion, this is what God is all about in the universe. And we look at this in the world and you say, why? How can this possibly happen? The kids in school, we, we have a moment with the kids in school when they get to ask me questions. And, and the kids will ask me, very sweet kids, will say, if God knew that the world was going to be filled with so much evil, why do you think God created people? Do you think God ever said, maybe I shouldn't have created people? It's a very powerful and painful question. And it's a question, frankly, that's at the heart of this morning's reading of the Torah. Because the reading that we did this morning in the Torah is the second chapter in the three-chapter story of Abraham. And Abraham is our father. Abraham is the patriarch. Abraham is the archetype. It is as if all of our experiences are condensed into the life of Abraham. Last week's Torah portion, Abraham is chosen, brought up into the land of Canaan by God and given the commandment to be a blessing. So Abraham's job in the world is to represent God in the world and to be a blessing to the world. That the Jewish 
purpose, the purpose of the Jewish people in the world is to be a vessel of divine blessing, an agent of justice and right in the world. That's why we're in the world. And God promises him three times in the Torah portion, you will be a great people and this will be your mission in the world. The language of the Bible is very precise. All the peoples of the world will be blessed because you're in the world, because you're here, by the things that you teach and the things that you do. That was last week's Torah portion. This week's Torah portion is trying to ask the question, what does it mean to live as a blessing? And what can we expect of the world? And what do we expect of God? And what is the nature of this relationship, this covenantal relationship between a human being and God? And a story is told in this Torah portion, which if, it's one of these stories that the Talmud says, if it hadn't been written in the Torah, you wouldn't have believed it. So here's the story. Abraham is 99 years old when God says, you and I have a covenant, and the sign of the covenant is going to be circumcision. I want you to circumcise yourself and all the men of your household. So Abraham takes, I presumably, a sharp rock, and he circumcises himself. Don't try this at home. And he's recovering from the surgery um, when three angels, three men actually, appear in front of him. That's the beginning of the Kriya, the beginning of the Torah. And angel, Abraham, in his pain and his discomfort, runs around making them, making them suffer. And it turns out these are not ordinary travelers. These are three angels. And the angels have brought news to Abraham. The first one tells him, you're going to be a father of a child. And Sarah is going to be his mother. And Sarah, of course, who's now 90 years old, starts to laugh and says, you know, have you seen my old man? You know, it's a little late, thank you. And God says, don't worry, I can do miracles. And whoo, miracles happen, and she's with child. That leaves two angels. And then we get this story. We just read it in the Korea. I'll read it to you, but if you happen to have it, if you happen to have it um, in the Torah reading, you will find it um, on page 102. The men set out from there and looked down towards Sodom. So Abraham lives near Kirat Arba, which is in Hebron, and right past that is the great rift where the Dead Sea is, and that's where the city of Sodom was. So you can see it if you walk to the edge. Now the Lord had said, shall I hide from Abraham what I'm going to do? That's the important, that's one of the important letters, signs in this, important statements in this Torah reading. Shall I hide from Abraham what I'm going to do? God is talking to himself. This is divine self-rumination. God, this is God considering something. God asks himself, as it were, am I accountable? Is God accountable? Each one of us who lives in a life of relationship is accountable to the people with whom we have relationship. During the week, not on Shabbat, but during the week I carry a cell phone so that if my wife wants to know where I am, she, has, she calls me. And she calls me all the time and says, where are you? And I usually say something terrible and sarcastic about where I am. And I say, I'm sitting in my office with a bar mitzvah kid. What do you want? And she says, well, what do you want for dinner? And I say, I don't know. When I get home, I'll figure that out. We, 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 are, we are accountable to each other because we are bound in relationship with each other. We are friends. We are members of a community. We work together. We're accountable to each other. Is God accountable? Does God have to give an explanation of himself? What God does in the world, is it even make any sense to ask God, why do you do these things? But God realizes that with the choice of Abraham, he's entered into a different relationship. We have a different religious universe, a universe in which man and God are now bound by a common covenant and a common vision of what right and wrong is all about. Shall I hide from Abraham what I'm going to do? Because he's going to become a great people, and all the nations will bless themselves by him. For I have singled him out that he may instruct his children and posterity to keep the way of the Lord by doing what is just and right. The way of the Lord is justice and righteousness. And therefore, if Abraham is going to be a representative, an agent, an ambassador of God in the world, Abraham has to understand how God operates. Abraham has to understand why God does what God does. Abraham is given the invitation to ask the question, why are you doing that? Now, the Bible isn't quite sure it believes that, so it's going to play this out as a story. The men went on from there to Sodom, and Abraham remained standing before the Lord. Abraham came forward. That's a beautiful phrase, by the way. You come forward. 
it's not a physical coming forward. It's a stepping into an encounter. It's a stepping into a conversation. And he says to God, now listen to the speech. It's three or four sentences. Will you sweep away the innocent along with the guilty? When you, God, act in the world, do you have a consciousness of justice? Or is, is this just going to be a random act of destruction? Will you sweep away the innocent with the guilty? But that's actually an opening. What if there be 50 innocent in the city? Will you not spare the place for their sake? Far be it from you to do such a thing, to bring death upon the innocent as well as the guilty, so that innocent and guilty fare alike, far be it from you, shall not the judge of all the earth do justice. Now, that's a beautiful sentence, but it's mistranslated. And you need to have a little bit of a sense of the, of the emotion of this sentence. The Hebrew for the phrase, far be it from you, the Hebrew is chalila lecha. Chalila lecha doesn't mean far be it from you. It's because the translator was a great poet. His name was H.L. Ginsberg. And he, he had a wonderful sense of English poetry. But this far be it from, that's not what it is. Chalila lecha means something else. When I was a little kid, my mom and dad would take vacations once in a while. And she, they'd leave us at home with my grandmother. My grandmother was a four foot two European immigrant, right? But she was a bubby. I don't know if how many of you have grandmothers like this, but she's a bubby. And bubbies have a weapon. I don't know if you know this, if your grandmother's this way. So what would happen is as soon as the car would turn the corner, and my brothers, I have three younger brothers, and, and today we all love each other, but then not so much. And, and, and as soon as the car turned the corner, we would start beating the life out of each other. We would just beat the living life out of each other. And my bubby would walk in the room, and there I am holding a block or a stick over my brother, ready to beat his brains in, and bubby would never raise a hand. And she would never raise a voice. She would simply give me the look. And it's a look that was perfected by 200 generations of Jewish grandmothers. And it's a look that said, I am so disappointed in you. I am so disgusted by you. You are so much better than that. Why are you doing this? And then she would whisper three words in the Yiddish language. I don't know how many of you speak Yiddish, but Herschel's here, so he can help me with this. The first word was shande. What does shande mean, Hersh? Shame on you. Shame on you. How do you say that in Persian? How do you say it? What, what did your grandmother say when you did something really wrong, David? What, what did your grandmother say? Yeah, exactly the same. What's the word? Yeah, whatever language it is, it's in Farsi or Yiddish, it's the same word. It means shame on you. The second word is cherpa. What's cherpa mean? Even worse. It's like you should be ashamed of yourself. Like, like how could you do this? She'd look at me and she'd go, ashanda. And she'd just whisper, ashanda. And the cherpa, and then the third one was the one that got me in the heart. And this one you don't even have to translate. The third one is fe. <coughs> it, it, it was fe. It just means I'm so disgusted by you. You're not the person I raised. You know, my poor grandmother, I suffered, I struggled, I sacrificed, and this is who you are. This is who you are. And I remember as a kid, I stood up, I dropped the stick I was beating my brother. I looked at my grandmother, I fell to my knees, and I said, Bubby, take a stick and beat me, but don't give me feh. Because I couldn't, I mean, this is the one woman in the whole world I wanted to love me, you know? My mother loved me sometimes, but my Bubby, you know, the one woman in the world I needed to love me. And she was so angry at me and so disappointed. That's what Abraham says to God. You get it? Chalila lecha means I am so disappointed in you. The Hebrew, you have to read the Hebrew. I'm sorry, you can't do this in English. So you can all have to go out and learn Hebrew. Right? Because here's what it says. It says, Chalila lecha me'asot kadavar azeh. Shame on you that you would do this. Lahamit tzadik im rasha to kill the guilty together with the innocent, the good with the bad, the evil with the righteous, the haya, so that it would be katsadik karasha, so that in your world there would be no difference between good and evil, between right and wrong, between innocent and guilty. 
Chalilah Hashem on you for doing such a thing. Hashofet kala aretz lo yasem mishpat. The judge of all the earth won't do justice. Abraham says to God, is this the world you wanted? Did you want a world where there's no moral differentiation? Did you want a world where there's no good and evil? Did you want a world where it's all mixed up and it doesn't matter? That a human being's choices don't matter? That, that humanity's choices don't matter? Is this the world? Is this your sense of justice? Hashofed kola aretz lo yasem mishpat. The one who stands for justice isn't going to demand justice? Now, what happens next is why I'm Jewish. Because I can tell you what should have happened next. Right? How many of you don't raise your hand because I don't want to embarrass you? How many of you have ever said to a child, because I said so? How many of you ever said to a child, because I'm your father? Right? I was a classroom teacher for many years in junior high school. At a certain point, you say to junior high school kids, I'm the teacher, that's why. At this point, God should appeal to his authority. God should tell Abraham to shut up, to be quiet, to stop complaining, to stop bothering him. God should not take this. Why does God need this service in the world? It's hard enough to run the universe when you have one Jew telling you that you're doing it wrong all the time. But what happens next is amazing. What does God say? God says, okay, okay, you're right. Now, what does that mean that God says, okay? I mean, think about this. God says, you find me 50 good guys, I'll save the city. What does it mean that God says, okay? It means that man and God share a common moral language, that God understands the world the way that man and man understands the way that God understands the world and that we share a sense of justice and that God is willing to compromise God's authority and God's majesty and God's power and let a man tell him he's doing it wrong because that man is arguing on the basis of their common adherence to justice. He's not asking for himself. He's not acting for his own interests. He's not acting to make himself more wealthy or powerful or, or important. He's asking for justice. And when you ask for justice in the world, God is willing to say, okay, okay, you're right. God changes his mind and offers mercy for the city. Okay. And then, of course, what happens next is even more outrageous. What happens next is the Bible wants to know, yeah, how far are you willing to go with this idea? How far are you willing to go? Abraham has sold enough camels in the Shuk of Beersheba that he knows what he has a customer in the shop. He knows what to do. The guy said 50. Do you give me 50? What if five are missing from the 50? Will you give me 45? I got 45. Will you give me 40? Well, God, I got 40. You said 50, 45, 45. How about 30? 30. Will you give me 30? I'll give you 30. How about 20? I'll give you 20. Will you give it to me for 10? Would you give it to me for 10? God says, okay, 10. It's a crazy story. But what's being hammered home here in this loony story is this idea that we can turn our eyes to the universe and say, I demand justice. I demand justice. Now, Abraham gets an answer. Not all of us get answers. But that this is the stance of a human being toward the world, to demand justice. Abraham could have taken a different stance. In fact, at the end of the Parsha, there's a different story with a very different stance. He could have said, you're going to destroy Sodom? Okay, fine, go. But he doesn't do it. The, the, the urge within us, the voice within us, that heard that story this week, the story of the kid in Santa Clarita, in Saugus, and all of us, something broke inside, something hurt inside of us. That something hurt inside of us. He said, this is wrong. This can't be. The urge inside of us to say, I object to the injustice of the world. I object to the unfairness of the world. I object to the tragedy of the world. And the second one, which is to say, I'm going to do something. I need to do something about it. Maybe I don't know what to do about it, but I need to do something about it. This is the birth of Jewish consciousness. The birth of Jewish consciousness is that's that demand for justice. Now, again, you know, injustices happen all the time, and we can't stop them all. 
but the fact that we recognize it as an injustice and that there's something emotionally attached to our sense that something is demanded of us at that point. That's the voice here. You could have a very different religious voice. In the Bible, there is a different religious voice. In the Bible, there's another book. It's a book called Job. Not a lot of Jews know about this book because it's at the end of the Hebrew Bible, and most Jews don't get that far. But at the end of the Hebrew Bible, there's a book called Job. And in the book called Job, there's a man called Job who lives a very righteous life. He deserves nothing but God's blessings because he's righteous and pious. And God destroys him. The story in the book of Job is that God is playing cards with Satan. And Satan says, if you took away from Job all of his blessings, he would curse you. And God says, okay, try it, but don't kill him. And Job suffers terribly. He loses his family. He loses his wealth. And eventually loses his health. And Job suffers and suffers and suffers. You've heard of the phrase, the patience of Job? That lasts two chapters. For the next 35 chapters, the man screams at God, saying, how could you do this to me? And God doesn't answer him. To the very end of the book, can I give away the end? Here's the end of the book. God shows up at the end of the book of Job in a hurricane. Now, already that's a symbol. Because, you know, when, I, when Elijah had a problem, God shows up in a still, small voice. When Moses had a problem, he shows up in a burning bush. This time he shows up in a hurricane. 100 mile an hour winds. Pounding rain. Booming thunder. God says, who are you? Who are you to complain to me? Who do you think you are? Where were you when I built the universe? Who do you think you are? And at the end of the book of Job, something remarkable happens. Job gives up. He surrenders. He surrenders. He resigns. He says, you know, you're right. I have no right to ask you about how you run your universe. I am a man. You are God. I am in no position to ask you that question. I recant and relent. I give up. And at the end of the book of Job, he, he lies down and just gives up. And this, too, is a religious stance in the world. You've met people like this who say, whatever happens is going to happen. There's a sense of acceptance. And maybe there's a certain peace in that. Maybe there's a certain tranquility and serenity in acceptance. But tranquility and serenity have never been Jewish values. And here you have a contrast between two ways of being in the world. The person who looks at the world and says, whatever is is what God wants to happen, and there's nothing we can do about it, let it be. The Beatles wrote a very famous song like that. Let it be, let it be, speaking words of wisdom, let it be. Don't complain, don't react, don't fix it. Don't, just, just, just leave it alone. Let it be. And in Abraham's stance, which is very different, which says, no, I was put in the world to demand justice. And even if I can't fix it, even if we can't figure out why that young man did what he did, even if we can't figure out a way how to get guns out of the hands of lunatics, at least we need to try. At least we need to feel the need to do something. Because that's what keeps me alive. That passion. And these two ways of being are two different worlds, two different personalities. And I think what the Torah wants us to know today is that as much tranquility and serenity as we would like to have, the dignity of being Abraham's descendants belongs to the demand for justice. The demand for justice. And that even if, even if you can't find a solution, the very fact that it offends you to hear about tragedies like this week's tragedy means that you haven't lost the spark. This I call chutzpah. You know the word chutzpah? I don't know how you say this in Persian. The word chutzpah is a Yiddish word, but it's actually older than Yiddish. In Yiddish it means, you know, nerve or temerity. Or, but, but it's actually older. It's a Hebrew word. And it occurs, or Aramaic word, and it occurs in the Talmud already. And in the Talmud, it means something else. It means the ever-renewing life. There's a line in the Talmud that says, even though the land of Israel has been conquered many, many times, it sprouts new, beautiful flowers every springtime. There's chutzpah there. There's new life. The chutzpah to say, 
that the, that, the, that the brokenness of the world claims me and that I am something is demanded of me, some response is demanded of me. That's the chutzpah of Edom. It's not a serene and tranquil life, the life of a Jew, but it's a life of dignity because in demanding justice, even of God, there is a sense that I matter and that the horizons of my human possibility are raised up and that's what makes me what I am. So I want to leave you today not with peace and not with quiet and not with serenity, but I want to leave you un, 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 unsettled a little bit because the world is very unsettled. And we Jews, we inherited that. That's what makes us who we are. And after the Shabbos, to find a way to heal and to help and to care and to provide that's who we are as well. Shabbat Shalom. Let's open the prayer book, page 155. We rise together and we'll join the cantor in the recitation of the prayers of Nisan.
Chabal geburrot um ihr do melach melach wie mit um ich haie um als mir jesu bin ich man hat lehachayot Come, make home, 
que voy a el ello mata barro yo me ro la la Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Kiddushat, 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 
Baruch Malkeinu, Baruch Malshiyeinu, Tahu Eloheinu, Tahu Adoneinu, Atahu Malkeinu, Atahu Malshiyeinu, Tahu Shikiru, Avoteinu, Lefarecha, El Yitore, Asavi. Shalo <laughs> seated. This week our community notes with the deepest sadness the passing of Dr. Lester Kahn, husband of Estelle, father of Mark and Cindy and Jeff and grandfather of many and soon to be a great grandfather. Lester and Estelle were very, very early members. They joined Valley Beth Shalom in 1953 when they moved from the East Coast to Los Angeles, a dentist in the community and part of our community for a long time. We mourn the loss of Arthur Schuster brother of Jay Schuster, and we join with Jay and his family with the member of his brother. The loss of Dr. Herbert Rubin, husband of Helen Rubin, father of Rochelle Scott Adler and Stuart Rubin, grandfather of Alicia. The Rubins as well, longtime members of the community. Dr. Rubin was known in the community as the last doctor in America to make house calls, and a, a wonderful, loving man, lived a long and very good life. We remember him. Services for Dr. Rubin will take place tomorrow at Sunday at uh, 2 o'clock at Mount Sinai, and the family will join uh, together with their friends at uh, their home on Sapphire for Shiva at about 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Anyone who knew Dr. Rubin, his patients, his friends, please come and share your comfort with the family. What? Mount Sinai, Hollywood. Um, as well, we received notice yesterday uh, of the death of a longtime member of the show, Dr. Sam Kremen. Um, Sam will be laid to rest tomorrow. Um, at 10 o'clock at Mount Sinai as well. He's the father of three, the grandfather and great-grandfather of many. And we remember Sam with great love as well. The names of all of those whose yard sites are remembered in the community are listed in the synagogue program. We pray that their memory, their legacy is a blessing to those who recall them. The words of the mourners Kaddish found on page 184. I ask you to rise if you say Kaddish, observe yard site. If you're sitting near someone who's standing by themselves, stand up with them that they should know that no one mourns or grieves alone when friends and community are present. The words of Kaddish, Yitgadal v'yitkadash shemei rabah. V'yalma divrach irutei v'yamlich malchutei. V'chai echon v'yom echon. V'chai dechal beit Yisrael. V'agalau v'zman kari v'yamru amen. 
Yehei Shmei Rabba Mivarach Leolam Omei Almaya Yit Barach Veyishtabach Veyit Paar Veyit Ramam Veyit Nase Veyit Hadar Veyit Ale Veyit Halal Shmei Dekudsha Brichu Leela Min Kol Birchata Veshirata Tush Bechata Venechemata Damiran Veyalma Veyimru Amen Yehei Shlama Rabba Min Shemaya Vechayim Aleinu Veyal Kol Yisrael Veyimru Amen Ose Shalom Bim Ramav Yase Shalom Aleinu Vial Kol Yisrael Vimru Amen. Please be seated. We welcome everyone this morning. Shabbat Shalom. David's here someplace. There's David. Come on up. While David's coming up, I will tell you that this weekend Valley Beth Shalom is blessed to have a wonderful scholar and artist in residence, the great cantor Israel Rand. Cantor Rand is the chief cantor of the great synagogue of Ramat Gan. He's worked in the synagogues of Tel Aviv and in New York, and he's our scholar. Last night, Cantor Rand gave a concert as part of our Farbrengen service. Anybody here last night? An amazing thing happened. This was amazing. Not only is he a wonderful chazan and a beautiful soul, beautiful singer, but because he's, he's religious, he doesn't use a microphone on Shabbos. So there were 300 people sitting in this room quietly. That's a miracle. 300 Jews sat quietly to hear a man sing without a microphone, and he has a beautiful, beautiful voice. Israel Rand, he gave us a concert last night. This afternoon, we're going to finish the service. We're going to go have lunch, and lunch today is good. It's chili rellenos. Relleno is the Mexican word for blintz, okay? And then at 12.30, which is about 45 minutes from now, we will meet in the Weiner Chapel for a continuation of our conversation and a little music from Cantor Rand and... Cantor Fox, long talk about his wonderful work in preserving cantorial art, cantorial music in Israel and around the world, and some more of his music we'll enjoy together. So join us, get a little lunch, eat a little bit, and then join us in the Weiner Chapel at about 12.30 for a continuation of our conversation and time with this wonderful, wonderful cantor, Cantor Israel Rand. And now, the president of Valley Beth Shalom, Mr. David Spiegel! Shabbat Shalom. And I do use microphones. <laughs> uh, as a reminder, College of Jewish Studies uh, is on Wednesday nights at 7 o'clock. This Wednesday's topic is why do bad things happen to good people? Okay, he touched on it today. By the way, how many of you would like to hear Rabbi Feinstein speak more often? <laughs> yeah. We could do it on nights when she's dancing. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, our next Neshama Minion, talking about Nina, uh, is next Shabbat. Uh, you know, so, you know, be here for that. Please look in the Shabbaton for many more programs, including uh, December 13th, we commemorate Rabbi uh, Schulweis and his life's work, wisdom, and legacy on his fifth yard site. Special guest is Dr. Uri Hersher, president and founder of the Skirball Cultural Center. Also, Sunday, December 15th at 7 o'clock, 40 years in America celebrating our Iranian Jewish community. Concert and soiree uh, you know, will be that night, and there are tickets and uh, are available online through uh, 12, you know, December 6. No RSV? You don't need tickets for the 15th. Okay, just for the dinner portion. All right, I've been get, fed wrong information. I apologize. Okay. You know, it, it was given to me for both, so, yeah. All right, next Friday night is Tamarim, uh, and there, you know, there is, uh, you know, you need to RSVP and pay for dinner. Uh, a Hanukkah boutique is December 5, you know, if you need a few gifts for Hanukkah. Kiddush is supposed to be in uh, Glazer, down the hall to the right. 
And uh, Kiddush is going to be is sponsored by uh, Karen and Jeff Goss. So thank you to Yossi uh, for uh, doing everything today, to Rabbi Feinstein, to uh, Cantor Fox, uh, to Chris Harden on the piano, uh, to Dr. Ron Ryder for coordinating, and at the door was uh, Judy Cotton. So Shabbat Shalom. Let me just reiterate this before Shoshana does Kiddush. Next Friday night, we have a beautiful musical service in the Sephardic tradition. Music from Iraq, from Iran, from Syria, and Tunisia will be led by our artist and resident, Asher Levy, who is a genius musician. Service begins at 6.30. Following the service, there is a beautiful traditional Sephardic Shabbos dinner. Right? Got that right? A beautiful Sephardic dinner. Services for everyone to come and enjoy. If you'd like to stay for dinner, it's a few dollars to pay for dinner. And we'd love to have you stay for next Friday night. Then, Shabbos morning, the Neshama Minion will meet at 9.30 in this room. Right? The Library Minion will meet. The Torah Study will meet. And all the events of the Shabbos go on uh, as usual. Um, please join us for these wonderful, wonderful moments. Everyone stand up. Put your prayer books on your chair. Put your arms around the people next to you. Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. Hi, Shabbat, 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 Shabbat Shalom. Hi, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat, 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 Shabbat Shalom. Hi, Shabbat, 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 Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat, 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 Shabbat Shalom. Hi, Shabbat Shalom. Shamru Bene Israel, Et Hashabat, Lasot Et Hashabat, Ledorot Amberit Olam, Beni Uven Bene Israel, O Tile Olam, Tisheshet Yamim Asa Adonai, Et Hashamayim, Bet Shabbat vayin nafash al kembera Adonai et ha-shabbat ye'ayikashehu Sabri kevrotai verabotai Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech ha-olam Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, ha'motzi lechem min ha'aretz. Adon olam asher malach, b'terem kol yitzirin yivirah, li'ed nasam b'chev tzokol, azay melech shemon ikra. You are a good person. You are a good person. You are a good person. You are Veueli vechai goali, vetsure chameli veitzaya, veueli shiu manosli, menal kozi beyomekra, veyado avkiruchi, veyijan veayera, veyemeruchi deviati, ado enaeli. Velo Shabbat Shalom.